Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because armed with a hundred British pounds, I strolled my way through a local car boot sale in search of some cheap bikes. I then came across these two beauties priced at 30 pounds each and after a bit of bargaining I got them for 50 quid for the both of them and this is Cheap Bike Challenge episode one. Let's get into it. We're now deep in the woods and I have two bikes here and you might be wondering why. Well, that's because along for the session is Louis Pilgrim. Yo, I'm going to be on this green one here, the Nightshade. Quite excited to try that one out and obviously Sam's on this silver one. So should be hopefully pretty fun. So the idea of the day is that we're going to sort of challenge and see which bike lasts the longest. The guy is the winner with the bike that still survives at the end. This is just a little bonus to add in to the first episode of the Cheap Bike Challenge. So we've come to our local trails and I'm just going to follow Louis through one of these lines here. Let's get into it. Are you ready, Louis, for the first challenge? Yeah. You're going to lead it out. You're less used to cheap bikes than me. So I think it's fun that you're going to begin. Cool. Get into it then. Please. Let's chase you down. How exciting. Don't snap the forks on the first jump. Yeah, well, hope oh I won't. Oh God, it's into a gap line. Oh. Oh my oh God. Oh my yeah. God. This is incredible. Oh, Louis. Where's he going? <laughs> Feet all hanging off. Look. Oh, that's really good. Oh my God. How did your feet come off? Well, it's kind of like, you can't brake because you have to put your whole hand on the brake for it to work. Oh, so really? kind of just... Mine's so good. <laughs> there we go, the first challenge is complete and this bike has survived and so has Louis. How was that then, Louis? Yeah, it was quite good, other than my feet hanging off and missing parts of the line. But we're at this little mini step up now and I think Sam's going to set me a trick. So, what could that be? I know that Louis can do one foot can, so that's the trick I'm going to set for him as the next sort of challenge for these bikes on this medium sized step up. Let's get into it. This is it then Louis, you've got to do one of these on your cheap bike. Huge can. Getting my foot a little bit stuck on the seat. Good luck. Sure go. Oh my god. Nice, that was a clicked leg and briefly held. After that can, I thought I'd give my bike a chance to stay alive a little bit and make Sam do this gap pack here. It's a three set. Hopefully he buckles his wheel or something. Okay, I'll do it, but I at least get one set for you later that I don't have to do. So you better look out, Louis. Here we go, three set of jumps. Whoa. Oh my god, my bars have lent right back. Yes! Stomped. My bars moved when I was jumping. You can't really tell, but look, my levers are right up. Because it's like, these are so... Yeah, I can't even move them. They've... There we go. They're back now. That felt scary. It was like, up the lip. That's well good. There we go then. We're going to get out of the woods find some more urban stuff to really start pushing the limits of the bikes. For the next challenge, I've decided to come to the local pump track to test our cheap bikes to the limits. We're gonna have a little race. I'm gonna set the speed first and then Louis has to try and beat me. So let's get it. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Pedal into this first section, then only pumping from there. Oh, this thing's gonna win for sure. It's such a flyer. Oh, that berm's horrible. Oh, my bars have moved. I forgot to tighten them. Come on, back across this line. Yo. 1892. Really? Yeah. Sick, back across that line, yeah? 1892. All right, it's your turn then, Louis. You gotta try and beat me, or I'll find you a forfeit. Three, two, one, go. 
I got a pedal to get it. Oh my god. Not very good at pumping. Oh, that's so deaf. Probably lost quite a bit of speed there. Was that the line? Oh, what was my score? 1892. Oh, very. Oh, I lost anyway by four hundredths of a millisecond <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible forfeit coming up. Cool. I'm gonna make you 360 out of that far berm there. That's gonna be so sketchy on your wheels and stuff. Get into it, Louis. I'm gonna commentate this destruction as well. He is in, this is it. Full speeding. Oh, it has to happen, Louis. Next go. He's in, pedaling across the stones, turning hard. Oh my goodness. Couldn't really tell if that was gonna come round or not. Does that count though for you? Yeah, that was a three. All right. Well, good. That was actually so sick. sick. Let's move on then and find some more stuff to destroy these bikes on. Please. Just come to the next location. I really wanted to ramp things up and get Louis a bit scared as well. There's a stair set of doom here. Doesn't look like that much. There's actually two more above it going that way and such a tight exit space here. So let's get up there and send it. Come on. Here we go, dropping in. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Didn't dab. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. You're gonna hate that. Almost went over the bars into the lower section. And like you did actually almost go over the bars in London that time. So, oh my God, everyone get ready. Louis dropping in. <laughs> That is so good. Yeah. Right, so we both completed that challenge and they're still working. Cool. So, I think we need to find something crazier to do. Come on, let's get out of here. After that stair set of doom, we've come over to this skate park and my next challenge is to do two stools or grinds anywhere in the skate park. I'm gonna do some stools, watch. Oh, nice. Good old pedal stool. Sick. So I'm gonna do a grind, big pedal slide like that. Really get it going hard. It's gonna be horrible for this machine. Full lap round, straight in for it. Oh my God, I didn't know what to do. Sick. Oh, that's the sort of rampage I expect to see from you now, Louis. Let's see a massive 180 disaster. Oh. That count? Yeah. Well, good. I'm gonna get beyond street and try and grind down this huge rail thing over here. Should be so sick. Oh, cool. Oh, that was sick, man. I've got one for you, Louis, because of that. And you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it one bit. You're going to drop off this to flat. Oh. Easy. Oh. It's not even that big, and it, like, hurt my back. Bars went even further back, but bike's still going strong. I think we can do one more thing in the skate park before we move on and try and do some like trickery or something. I'm gonna do one that Louis doesn't have to do because it's so horrible. There's a rail there that I think I can pedal onto and then ride down. Oh. Yo. Cool. <laughs> it always amazes me what you can do on these cheap bikes. I just got to tighten this up. Let's get out of here. 
more bangers. We've just come to the next location. This is a pretty classic spot of mine. You've probably seen it in a load of videos, but the reason we're here is because my cranks are so bent now. They're at about five past six on the clock scale. It feels super weird to ride and I don't really want to go that massive because if they break on a huge jump, I'll just die. I've tightened the bars up. So we're going to session this little spine here. That's my little challenge for me and Louis. I'm going to start off, you got to clear it to flat. You'll have to do that as well, all right? So off the top of the coping, onto the concrete there. Easy. That is horrible. Wow, the clock is really ticking on now. It's your turn, Louis, and we'll switch between maneuvers to really like exacerbate things oh that was quite a completion of that mission so i think we should add to it now with a 180 oh it went free coaster that was so good because the chain come off look I know you don't really like 180s, so you've got to can it, Louis. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even leave the takeoff, did I? But I decided to land like that instead, sort of in hopes to put more force through the cranks, but they aren't bent yet. I'm going to 360 it. How about that? That 360 was pretty cool, but I thought the bike was going to break. Yeah, do a flare. A flare? Yeah. Louis, that's stupid. I know, like, should probably flip at least once each video. It's a good test for this bike, though. Oh, it's so horrible that it's just... All right, let's just do it. <laughs> ah, so hard to flare that compared to the jump bike. <laughs> oh. oh, so hard to flare. Oh, oh my God, that replay. <laughs> Ow. Oh, um, you've won, Louis. Look, the whole back wheel is an egg. My cranks are fully bent. That's what 25 pounds worth of fun can get you, though. And that is a lot, a lot of fun. We're actually left over with a spare bike now. That's what we'll do. We're going to put a free to a good home sticker on your bike, Louis and then someone else can continue the excitement with that. This one, I think I'll just keep it as a memory, as a memory, as a memento for Louis having beaten me. Because that just shouldn't happen. Louis beating me. Young, idiotic child. That's what you get for taking on silly requests from me. So there you go, I just beat you at your own game. But I do like the idea of dropping the bike off somewhere, so let's put it at the train station and see if someone wants to bike home on it. We've now just pulled up outside the local train station over there. I'm gonna write on this piece of paper, free to a good home, why walk when you could bike, question mark, and then someone hopefully takes it and then they can just ride back home instead of walking. Just, just ignore that one little capital in amongst lowercase. There we go, look at that. Oh, I better take that price tag off or they'll think they have to buy it. So I'm aware that if no one picks it up, I might be littering. So I'm gonna come back later tonight and check if it's gone or not. If it still hasn't been taken, then I'll just go and drop it somewhere in town and hopefully someone else can find a use for it. But there we go, free bike, why walk home when you can pedal? So that's the first episode of the Cheap Bike Challenge. 
completed. Louis beat me, unfortunately, but we did have fun on two bikes from the car boot sale for 50 quid. How unbelievable is that? So if you want a bike, if you don't have any money, get down a car boot and you can have endless fun for a very, very cheap amount. So on that bombshell of absolute excitement, cheapness and fun, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments and we see if you subscribe. See you in the next one.